Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the folk talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. I was racially profiled, man. Kind of hurt my feelings. But it happens to the best of us, man. I got to tell you the story when it happened to me. For starters, I was going across the street to the store. It's about, I say about 200 yards, maybe 150 yards away, you know. It's a, it's a it's a light walk, but it's an even quicker drive, you know. So one day I get in my wife's car, and I'm going to the store. First of all, when I drive, I don't wear I don't wear baseball caps. I take my hat off and I put on glasses. I always wear glasses because I feel like the police are less likely to mess with me if I have on glasses and look like a presentable gentleman. I I mean I am a presentable gentleman, but you know what I mean. I, I look less threatening with glasses on and no baseball cap, just head straight. 10 to 2, whatever you want to call it, go to the store. So, I didn't, and I only been pulled over twice in my whole life. And both times I didn't, I mean, I got pulled over, I didn't have my glasses on. But I'm going to the store, which is across the street from my house, and police pulls me over. First thing I asked him, like, yo, what's up? What's the problem? He said, you did not have your seatbelt on. I said, yes, I did. And then he told me, no, you didn't because you had a halfway on. You had the seatbelt halfway in the middle of your chest. And that was the first lie he told right then. Because I did not have my seatbelt on at all. So him, for him to say he seen it in the middle of my chest, it was a bold-faced lie. He did not see that in the middle of my chest because I did not have it on. I had on a white t-shirt and he said he seen the, the metal reflecting. And he that's why he pulled me over because he seen the metal in the middle of my chest. Newer model cars, they don't have the seatbelt. You pull it and it, zoop, it pull it back. You can't pull the seatbelt on and just hold it there, you know? So he was lying. I ain't like that. And it, it was a bold-faced lie. But that ain't where he racially profiled me at. He asked for my license and registrations and all that, you know, blase, blase. Um, I told him I had my, my wallet on me because it's right across the street. I told him I live right here. He ran my name, social security number, blase, blase. He, he ran all that. Everything was cool. He wanted the um, registration of the car. I'm looking like, see, there was a tricky part. I'm like, I don't know if I wanted to go in. I, I was not going to reach in there myself because I know my wife had um, her gun in there and or bullets, which she didn't have a gun in the, in the car. She had bullets in there. And I, I, I was not going to be putting on nobody's T-shirt. I was not going to make the news for going inside of there and he see something think i'm ba 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 you know you know how it goes it goes that it goes down that way but he went in there got the registration out cool he had nothing he was cool so he said he started looking around he said what is that in the side of your door in in, in the back seat and um it was crumbs in there i told man I'm, i said them cookie crumbs or cheeto crumbs or something man he said i don't know and I said, this is my wife's car. I said, look, you see the car seat back there? He said, nah. So they searched the whole car. And he, and he, when he, this is where he got me at. This is where he racially profiled me at. He asked me, he said, tell the truth. That's how he came to me. He said, tell the truth. When was the last time you and your homeboys were sitting in the car smoking? I ain't like that. First of all, it was not true. I never smoked inside of her car, period, point blank. I don't have no homeboys to be sitting around smoking, pulling up, smoking with the homies. I don't do that. That that ain't me. That ain't my style. I don't get down like that. And that's how I feel I was racially profiled because he put that on me. He 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 made a whole scenario for me. He, he actually said, tell the truth. When was the last time you and your homeboys were sitting in the car smoking? That's dirty work, man. It didn't go down that way. I said, never. So I don't got no homeboys. I don't smoke in my car. You know, blase, blase. Now, this, this, this isn't even my car. This is her car. That's how I don't smoke in here. And he said, all right, we got to search the whole car. They searched the whole car, and he's called up back. Said, I'm going to call back up. We're going to search this, um, these crumbs, these crumbs, whatever you have in the car. We're going to put them in the test. I said, okay, cool. So I'm sitting back. I'm waiting. They searched the whole car. found nothing because it's my wife's car. Um kids toys stuff like that and um the, the man pulled up like i think two more police officers pulled up and they got the little yellow packet i mean the little blue packet and stuff they tell my oh never mind you don't have to worry about that um 
there's nothing in the car. I'm like, nah, search it. I said, put that, put, put the little, the crumbs in there to see what it is. You're not going to, you're not going to accuse me of something. Then when you don't find nothing, don't go through the whole process. I'm like, nah, hit the, sprinkle the shit in there. So of course they did. They sprinkled it in there. found out it was nothing but crumbs. Like I said, it was, it didn't turn green or red or I don't know what color it's supposed to turn, but it didn't. Let me go. Oh, got my shit. Got went back home. Told my wife. I'm like, yo, I saw this racially profiled, and I feel I feel a, a way, man. Like that ain't no good feeling, man. I ain't never been racially profiled that I know of. That I can remember nothing like that. But when I got pulled over, and he asked me, when was the last time you and your homeboys was sitting in the car smoking weed? Oh, that crushed me, man. I ain't no bad guy, you know, but no, I definitely ain't riding around with the homie smoking, doing nothing like that. And he put that on me, man. It's like, yo, you just accuse me of something that I ain't do, man. That ain't right. <laughs> That's my little story, man. I know y'all got stories like that, too. Y'all might be guilty of y'all stories, though. Not me. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, man. But you understand what I'm saying, though. Um... That was a bad day for me. Not, not, not like nothing happened, but it just showed me, man. It's like, damn, what is the world be coming to, man? The police pulled me over and, and put a whole scenario on me. He told me I had friends. I don't have no friends. But he told me I had friends. We were sitting there smoking, getting it in, chilling, fogging up the car, even reefing the ashtrays or uh, crumbs. Like, no, man. Cheeto dust. So this is a public service announcement, man. Take your hat off, wear glasses, clean your car up, man. Keep the. I had a my, my son was a jet back then. He was he was a little boy, little cookie crumbs and stuff like that. But they wanted they they. they oh my god, that hurt me, man. He thought there was some damn sprinkles of marijuana. Mm mm mm. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday, man. Talking about stuff just like this. Just got to come through and highlight me. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out. Let me know if you have a story of like this or any caliber of racial profile. Because it happens, man. It happened to me and it, it shocked me. I thought, like, damn, me? Y'all going to think I'm a bad guy? I don't know, man. But I digress. Anyway, like I said, I go live on the channel. Holla at your boy. Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group. Is it groups that we're dealing with now? All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.